Oh my gosh, it's been a week. I was not looking forward to filming this video at all, to be completely honest with you. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. It is Friday once again at 6.30 in the morning, and I am at WW. Oh my gosh, it's been a week. I was not looking forward to filming this video at all, to be completely honest with you. It has been a week. So many things, so many. So, first of all, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted on my stories a photo of my ankle at Jazzercise on Monday. I don't know what I did, but my ankle, so behind my ankle bone, behind that was completely swollen, like so swollen and sore that the next day, Tuesday, I could barely put any weight on it at all, and it just killed. And I was like, what the heck did I possibly do at Jazzercise? I mean, I've been going long enough that that shouldn't have happened. So Wednesday, it was a little bit better. It was still pretty swollen. So I decided not to go to Jazzercise on Wednesday just because I didn't want to make the injury worse. And then today, I decided to put on my new tennis shoes, the ones that I've been wearing the last one or two times to Jazzercise. I'm trying to break them in before I head to San Diego because I'm doing a 5K fun run in San Diego. So this morning, I put those on because as you know, I go to Jazzercise right after WW. I think the shoes were what? caused the issue with my ankle because as soon as I put the shoe on it sits right at that part of my foot and it just instantly hurt so I don't know if I had my shoes too tight if it's because the back of my shoe is super super solid because it's new oh my gosh that's what happened so I realized today that it wasn't something that I did as far as like working out went because I was like, what did I do any different? I think it was those shoes. So today I'm back to my old shoes. I'm going to have to wear those more around the house. My ankle is still a little bit swollen, so I didn't want to risk injuring it even more because I go to Jazzercise tomorrow as well. So that happened. Also, it's my time of the month, and I have been ravenously hungry all week. I have eaten clean all week, which I am so proud of myself for that non-scale victory for the win. I have done really well on my food. I haven't splurged on any non-clean food, you know, snacky food, processed food, but I have eaten a lot more this week than normal. And in fact, to be completely honest and transparent with you, I literally have not tracked at all since I think it was Monday. I think Monday was the last day that I tracked. I went ahead and just ate when I was hungry, made good food choices when I was hungry, ate clean, good whole foods. So I am sure that my results on the scale are not going to be good or stellar or a loss at all. I'm probably going to gain. One, because I didn't track, which means I'm not sure exactly what I ate this week, but two, it's my time of the month and I'm in the midst of it. I feel bloated and just bleh. And you know how you feel that way. So I'm sure that the scale isn't going to deliver some great results today. But I do have a game plan going into this next week. And like I said, non-scale victory. I did have one of those this week. So I will take it. I'm loving my clean eating. I'm loving it. So I'll share a little bit more about my game plan when I get out of my workshop. But I'm going to head in weigh in, stay for the workshop, and I'll be back to share all of the juicy details with you as soon as the workshop is over. Hi friends, welcome back. So I am out of my WW workshop, and it was a fantastic workshop. Like I've mentioned in several of these weigh-in videos, it seems like WW knows exactly what workshop topic I need for the week. So today we talked about blue dots and the blue dot challenge. As I mentioned before I went in to weigh in, I have not really tracked since Monday and I have not been honestly paying attention to blue dots at all for quite some time. And I looked back over my tracker and my weight tracker as well as my monthly tracker and I'm seeing a pattern. If I am getting a blue dot consistently, that is when I am losing the most weight. So it's really important for me to get back to the basics and really start paying a little bit closer attention to blue dots. So that is my plan for the upcoming week. So let me share with you what WW talked about as far as the blue dot challenge and then I'll share with you what my plan is for the upcoming week. So the first tip from WW 
you is start exploring. So go ahead and go back a few months, see how many blue dots that you earned in the given month, and even go as far as opening up a day of your tracker that you earned a blue dot to see what you ate to get you within your blue dot range. It's really important to kind of look back. The past indicates the future. So if we can look back and see the days that we earned a blue dot and exactly what we ate on those days, we can try to duplicate that again to earn a blue dot this month or this day or this week. And as I did this exact thing and looked back, there were months that I had tons of blue dots and there were months that I didn't. And by looking at the months that I didn't have as many blue dots, those are the months that I didn't lose as much weight. So I think they do go hand in hand. Now, is the blue dot the be all end all? Absolutely not. There are some days that you're more hungry than other days or less hungry than other days, but WW actually has a points range for all three plans. I am going to put that points range on the next screen so that you can see, depending on the color plan that you're on, what your points are above and below your designated point range that earns you a blue dot. And I think this information is really, really valuable. Whispering soft, alluring signs, wrapping you around my finger. So number two is notice patterns. And I think this is really important. Again, go back and look and see what patterns you developed during the months that you lost the most weight. And those are the patterns that you're going to want to duplicate going forward. And I don't think that necessarily having a blue dot every day or four or five or six days a week is going to make you lose more weight than those people that aren't getting a blue dot because that range is so drastic between the under points you can eat and over points you can eat to earn a blue dot. I don't think that the only reason you're losing weight is because of the blue dot. But I do think that staying within your HEZ or your healthy eating zone is really important. Staying within those points that earn you a blue dot is where you're going to see the most success. And number three is get connected. So search the hashtag blue dot challenge in connect. There are over 36,000 posts with the hashtag blue dot challenge. You can get gain some inspiration, get some ideas on what you can do to stay within your healthy eating zone. And you can also look and see what success others have had when they're in their healthy eating zone. I do want to caution you guys on one thing, and this is a big thing that I had a question on at my workshop. So that blue dot range that I showed you guys, the up, up and below what is considered your healthy eating zone on the different color plans. This is if you do not use your weekly. So for me, I use my weeklies every Saturday, so I can't go plus eight plus five, plus 10 over my points every day and still earn a blue dot because I've already used those weekly points on another day. So this is if you do not use your weekly points independently. This is if you essentially divide them up over the week, you can go above your points that many per day and still be within your healthy eating zone. Also, this kind of goes hand in hand with below your daily smart points. Try not to eat below what's considered healthy healthy eating. You're just not eating enough to fuel, fuel your body if you're below that minus number per day. So hopefully that makes sense. So for me, it's great to see that range of points, but I have to stay within my points every day because I choose to use my weekly points on Saturday. So I don't have those to divide up over the rest of the week. So now let's talk about my weigh-in. So as I mentioned briefly before I went into my workshop, this was a rough week. Since I transitioned over to clean eating, this is probably the roughest week in other aspects of my WW journey. Not so much eating good whole food, but not tracking my points and probably eating above my allowed points every day, not being able to exercise like I like to, that makes me feel the best. And third, just having a little bit of an injury. It plays kind of a little bit of a mental mind game on you when you can't do the things that you wanna do. You can't be as active as you normally are because it hurts. It hurts to walk, it hurts to stand. So with that being said, and also it being my time of the month and in the midst of the worst part of that. <sighs> Sometimes being a girl is not fun. When I stepped on the scale today, I actually gained one pound. So it's better than I thought that it was going to be, but I've been doing so good. I have not gained anything since the beginning of January. I've lost every single week. So I wanted to keep that streak going, that pattern going throughout the month of March, but 
But with that being said, I take full responsibility for the pound that I gained. Again, I probably overate what was considered a calorie deficit. Even though it was good food, doesn't mean that you can eat as much as you want because it's clean whole food. You still have to track your points and watch your calories so that at the end you end up in a calorie deficit. Therefore, you see a loss on the scale. So it's my own fault that I gained a pound, but it kind of motivates me and rejuvenates me for this week. So here is my plan for the upcoming week. I'm actually going to Jazzercise today. I will be getting in four days for sure this week, Friday, Saturday, Monday, and Wednesday, and I may just go Tuesday as well to make up for this one pound gain. Also, I am going to focus this week on blue dots. So I would like to see blue dots six out of seven days. I will not get a blue dot tomorrow, Saturday, because as I mentioned, that is the day that I use my weekly. So I won't be getting a blue dot, but my goal is to get a blue dot the rest of the week. So that's kind of what I'm doing. As far as food goes, I am going to be tracking every day because I did not, like I said, track since Monday. So I just need to get back to the basics, back to tracking every day, back to shooting for a blue dot, back to getting in the exercise that I know helps me with my results on the scale. And I feel much more toned up and healthy and strong when I'm exercising. In fact, I recently posted just a couple days ago, a picture on my Instagram and my Facebook group. And I'll go ahead and insert that here for you guys. But I posted this picture of me on the left is the very first time that I went to Jazzercise. So my very, very first visit to Jazzercise and a photo from a couple of days ago. And there is such a huge difference. I am so much more toned and stronger and healthier just from going to Jazzercise. So for me, seeing that was huge. That's a huge non-scale victory. Again, the weight on the scale isn't the whole world to me. It's how I'm feeling in my body, how my I feel stronger and leaner and healthier. That's what's most important to me. And I need to get back to going to Jazzercise consistently I know it's only been a week and I only missed one day, but for me, that's a lot. I miss it. I can't wait to get back to it. So I'm actually heading there in just a couple of minutes for the 810 class. But I also want to know down in the comments how your guys' week went. What is your plan for the upcoming week? Maybe you'll want to join me in the blue dot challenge where we shoot for as many blue dots as we can possibly get in a week. And of course, next week, I will share with you how that went for me. Let you know if I got back to basics, how many times I made it to Jazzercise, how many blue dots that I got. And maybe you'll want to join me and see if we can share those results with each other at the end of the week next week. So comment down below with how your week went. Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? And what are your goals for this next week? Also, if you're new, welcome, you guys. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my journey. It's been fun. It's been a journey, but it's been a lot of fun. And I'd love to have you stick around. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on. That way you're not missing a single video. If you love these weigh-in videos, these tips, these tricks, these workshop recaps, I'd love it if you give my video a thumbs up. It means a lot to me and it really, truly helps my channel. And of course, again, leave your comments down below. I can't wait to interact with you guys. Read your comments. I really like to hear how your guys' week went. Wish me luck this next week, you guys. Wish me luck on my ankle, getting back to the basics, and let's go for a huge loss on the scale this next week. Thank you guys again so, so much for watching and spending your Friday with me, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye, guys.